Hey folks, it's Grapes here, and boy, I tell you, it's great to be back, eh? But you know what? This time, it's safety first. Hey, can you imagine what it would have been like before the virus hit? I'd have walked into the bank dressed like this. Ho oh, ho! They'd have taken me down quicker than a John A. McDonald statue. Ho oh, oh. ho! Anyhow, it's great to talk hockey again, and we're in the Stanley Cup playoffs in the conference finals. We got four solid teams. Anybody can win it, and you know why? Because at least a third of the team's full of Canadian players. But you know what? I like that Vegas team, and you know why? Because both uh, both series right now, you got Tampa and you got uh, New York Islanders on the one side, and then you got Dallas and you got Vegas on the west side. But I think the Vegas is the team I'm pulling for and I think could win because they got the good, solid goaltending. They, they're tough. They know how to hit. They got good coaching. But hey, almost the whole team's full of Canadians. They got 20 guys on their squad, eh? Oh, -ho! so I think Vegas can go, but it's been great playoffs so far. Now, I'd like to go into a little segment I'd like to call you people. And when I say you people, I'm going to actually explain who I mean by you people, eh? Oh, got into a little trouble last time. Anyhow, the first, the first you people we want to talk about today is Ron McLean. There he is. Nice picture, Ronnie. Even wearing a poppy. Nice touch, eh? <laughs> anyway, I know Ron McLean's only one guy, but he's my first you people. So the other night I'm watching hockey, and Ron McLean comes on talking about a guy making a sweet move. He called it a dangle. Now, anybody who's been following me for any length of time would know that a dangle is when you're skating fast, not giving the guy a sweet move and going around him. That's what I call a how's she going. So what we'll do is I'll show you a couple of video examples of the difference between a hushy going and a dangle. First, we got a nice short-handed hushy going by Tyler Mott. Followed up by a beauty dangle by Nazem Kadri. Then we got a hushy going and another hushy going by Bo Horvat. Beauty. Then we got a real nice dangle from Connor McDavid. Oh, nice finish, Connor. Anyhow, I hope you can tell the difference between a hushy going and a dangle. Now, the next few people I want to talk about, you refs. Now, for the most part, I think the referees do a great job. You know, it's a hard job to do. But when you're in Game 7, out of Stanley Cup playoffs, and you start calling chintzy penalties, I saw at least a handful of these chintzy type of penalties in a Game 7. Refs, you gotta let the guys decide the game. Now, the last you people I want to talk about are defenders in your own zone. First off, if you're going to be blocking shots, block them the right way. Don't go spinning around your and turn your back to the shooter, especially when it's Shea Weber. The guy's got over 100 mile an hour slap shot. And if you can't block the shot, don't be sticking your stick out in front of it. The goalie can't see it and half the time to go off your stick and in your own net. So anyhow, that's it for now. This is Grapes here. I hope you enjoyed it. Put it in the comments if you want to see more of this. It's great to have the playoffs back. Hockey's back. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Beauty.